Okay, so it's like 9.45, 10 a.m. next morning. This is awesome. It's my bed. So it's pretty nice, it's pretty good, it's pretty decent. We didn't actually go in because the queue was just insane at least like three hours long So I'm gonna try and go back tomorrow morning early and try and get in but even the views itself are absolutely amazing So we're down here in downtown Athens gonna look around see what's happening. Maybe get a falafel So good morning everyone, good morning YouTube. It is now Thursday, so this is my second day here in Athens. So yesterday we actually saw a lot of Athens. We got down to like the main center, saw a lot of it. So today isn't as hectic. I'm up pretty early, I got some work done this morning, editing the vlog for yesterday. So I'm gonna go get a coffee now. I'm not gonna eat for a while, I'm gonna wait and then eat some like good Greek food again later. And that's like the approach that I'm taking for pretty much all of the traveling. So as well as that, I'm gonna try and give as many travel tips as I can because like, so like I'm experiencing this for the first time as are you watching this. So I want this to be like, I want you to feel like you're traveling in Athens just as much as I am. Key number one is to get up early and just kind of get out and go and see as much as you can. If you're wasting the day in bed, then like you're not gonna you're not gonna get time to see it all. So right here in front of me is where the first ever Olympics was had. This is the original Olympic Stadium. Um, I don't think I can go in here without paying. Absolutely insane. Okay, so this is the Panathenic Stadium. So entry is five euro, but if you have a student card, it's half price. So. 250 to come in here. It's really, really cheap considering some of some of the tickets you have to get around here. So I said I'd do it. And that's another good tip for today is if you are a student, always ask for a student discount because most of these places have them and it's usually half price. So hold on, let me get a seat and we'll explain what this place is. So the Panathenic Stadium is located in the heart of Athens. For many centuries hosted games in which nude male athletes competed. So the stadium was used for the first time during the celebration of the great 
Pan uh, Panatenia in 330 or 329 BC. So this could accommodate the 68,000 people. So that's pretty big, man, considering it was made before Christ. It's a pretty good stadium. This place is awesome, man. I cannot come here and not go up to the very, very top of those steps. Oh my god, that's such a view. So anyone who follows me will know I'm such a big fan of Greek yogurt. So when in Greece, you gotta get some yogurt. Two percent. Can I get blackberry and the mixed nuts? was a dry fruit and nut, blackberry and then 2% Greek yogurt. So, first time tasting this in Greece. Mm. Oh my god man, look at it. So that's the way I like my yogurt when it sticks to the spoon, really thick, so so good. Okay, so we are currently in here at uh, Kapamanthikia. Now, so I, I definitely said that wrong, but it's in downtown Athens, and we're going to get a selection of Greek food. He's in charge. He just so he listed off all the Greek foods. Some I don't know what they are, but they're traditions of the region. So we're going to taste them, review them, and just enjoy the cuisine that this place has to offer. So the first thing we have is a Greek salad. So this is the first time we're doing it. We're waiting a long time for it, but I'm looking forward to it. So you can see it's mainly just just vegetables very little actual salad all dressed in balsamic uh, oil and vinegar and then topped with this beautiful fresh feta cheese so we have tomatoes cucumbers red onion and some olives too so first taste mm. vinegar is beautiful and then the shark feta cheese so so good oh my god that's the man beautiful thank you so much Okay, so pasta man, if you pies, it's beef and the inside, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So these are like little uh, donor meat, little pies. Taste test, so again, it's just meat, tomatoes, and a very light sauce with some, I presume, like a yogurt dip on the side. Uh -huh. It's the exact same as like a spring roll but with a donor kebab filling. It's really nice. You need a really nice cold Greek yogurt on the side. It's gonna bring it down, down together. Balance of coolness and of the hot spice from inside the, uh, the roll. And again, it's a really, really light, light batter on the outside too. I'm actually really, really enjoying this. The meat is so juicy and flavorsome. Wipe it on the meat. And bite. Oh, Final dish we have here is the kavarmas. So this is beef and potatoes fried together. So, you, so just on visual aspect, I can see pieces of beef, pieces of potatoes, some uh, tomatoes. Mm. The flavor in these is just incredible. Every bite you take is just a completely burst onto your palate. And then super soft pieces of beef as well. Definitely kind of a slow cook beef because it literally breaks when the fork is stuck into it. Not that much oil either, it's not not that heavy, just a beautiful mix um, of flavors. Complement each other so well. Real taste of um, anise, so like star anise, those small things, those green leaves, they are mixed in here as well. They leave a really nice taste after meat. Another kind of herb based, like rosemary or thyme. 
but it's more um, Middle Eastern culture, if anything. So, okay, so unfortunately, the camera died in the restaurant, but two more toasts came out. There was like coriander rice wrapped in a grape leaf, which was absolutely beautiful. Now, that would usually be a starter because it's quite citrusy, it's served kind of cold, and it's it's a good way to get your palate ready for the spicy uh, potatoes and beef that came as the main course. Then the dessert was Greek yogurt because I absolutely love Greek yogurt. Anything with Greek yogurt put me down for. Greek yogurt and candied carrots. So initially I was quite skeptical but it was one of the nicest things about the whole meal. Beautiful sweet candied carrot. There's not a strong taste of carrot, you just have a nice crunch and then the really beautiful creamy thick Greek yogurt that is everywhere here. All around that was like the perfect meal. I literally ticked off everything I wanted to get. Thank you so much to everyone in the restaurant. The link will be below. If you're in the Athens area, I would highly recommend go to the restaurant. So they both serve food and are a butcher. So you can either buy meat and bring it home or you can buy it there and eat it. So it has a dual purpose, which is very, very cool. Staff are extremely, extremely friendly and very helpful. And the food is delicious. So literally 10 out of 10 all around. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for showing me Greek food. It really is a huge thumbs up for me. So right now we're back in the hostel. I'm just doing a bit of work on the laptop. Trying to upload a YouTube video from when I left Malta, but the Wi-Fi is quite slow, so it's gonna take some time. But there's actually a gym just on the road, and that's what I'm gonna do now, and that's what I love about getting up so early. That's what I love about traveling alone. So the fact that I was up at like 7 a.m. or earlier, I got to see everything I needed to see today. I got everything that I needed to get done, done. So I'm probably gonna leave this uploading here. I'm gonna go to the gym, get a good session in, because I haven't trained in probably a week and a half. Yeah, I'll check back in with you when I'm back home from the gym. Okay, so I'm just back out here now in the balcony and we're back in the hostel too. There's no one here so I can talk away. The gym was actually really good, got a good session in and it was just nice to finally just use some muscles again. Again, such an important thing, it was 10 euros to get in but a student discount, let it be a fiver. So other than that, it's like 7 o'clock now. I went down to the metro station and tried to organize my lift in the morning to the airport but first metro doesn't leave until 5 41 and my flight at 7 30 so it's too tight i'm not going to do it so at this point i don't actually know how i'm going to get to the airport either a bus but i'll have to get two buses and i don't know where they are or i'll just pay for a taxi so i'm going to do a little bit more sussing up before now and that is my third tip for today is try and be as organized with transport as you can because the last thing you want is for it to be 3 or 4 a.m and you're like looking for buses or you, you don't know where to go basically and on that note i will close this vlog off and i will reopen when i leave in the morning time because then we go to bulgaria and we do it all over again so thank you so much for watching if you enjoy these episodes of this new series taste of freedom please do subscribe to the channel please leave the video a thumbs up i hope you learn something about athens one last like general overview of athens it is a beautiful city with some amazing architecture amazing food very cheap and very nice people so it is a thumbs up from me so i would highly recommend it i hope you gain some beneficial content from this video some insight into athens and maybe it inspires you to come visit here one day as always keep on cooking i'll see you tomorrow ciao, ciao.